Let's get an overview of SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language and it is widely used across the spectrum. It is used by developers, testers, production support guys, business analysts. Many guys use SQL on regular basis as part of IT. When it comes to SQL, it is broadly categorized into following. DDL, which stands for Data Definition Language. DML, which stands for Data Manipulation Language. DQL, which stands for Data Query Language. TCL, which stands for Transaction Control Language. As part of the DDL, we typically create database objects such as tables, indexes, etc. Also, we define constraints such as not null, primary key, foreign key, etc. on the created tables. When it comes to getting data into the tables or updating data in the tables or deleting data from the tables, those commands are categorized under DML. We use it very often compared to DDL. DQL is primarily to get the data from the tables. If it is read-only purpose, then we call it as DQL. We typically project the data, filter based upon the requirements, join tables, perform aggregations, and so forth. DQL and DML are widely used as part of our day-to-day -day development responsibilities compared to DDL. However, you should have equal respect and good amount of knowledge with respect to DDL also as you grow in your career. To begin with, DML and basic DQL are good enough, but as you mature as an engineer, you should be very comfortable with the DDL, DML, and DQL from all the aspects. And then finally, TCL. TCL stands for Transaction Control Language. There are only two commands which we use typically, commit and rollback. Commit is to persistently store the changes in the underlying database. Rollback is to revert back changes to the prior state if something goes wrong when we perform certain database operations. We don't use TCL directly that often, except uh, commit and rollback and hence you don't need to worry too much about TCL. As long as you know that commit and rollback are categorized under TCL, you are good to go. Categorization of the SQL into these different uh, groups is uh, very important in your mind. You should be able to clearly convey the message whenever someone asks about DDL, DML, DQL, TCL, etc. Also, you should know the magnitude of these things. DML and DQL are used more often compared to DDL. However, with respect to the concepts, DDL is as important as others and it has uh, quite complex concepts and you should be familiar with those things as you grow in your career. When it comes to application development, we perform something called as CRUD operations. They are nothing but DML and DQL. How they are mapped together? There is a, a separate topic for CRUD operations as part of this uh, section. We will talk about uh, the details at that time.